Yo, yo, I'm here. Uh, obviously late for the race. <laughs> Five minutes to the start. I had a hard time to uh, get my Zwift stuff uh, working. Uh, let me know if you're there. Guys, how's the audio? Let me know if you if you can hear me. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry for the late start. Kind of, kind of my usual start on Zwift is uh, to get in a couple minutes before the start and then have a terrible start of the race. Um, okay, so audio is good. I've got three and a half minutes to warm up for this race, which is amazing. Anyway, welcome back. Welcome back, cycling fanatics. Uh, this is the first race of the whatever Zwift League League. Uh, yeah, it's been a very, very long time ago that I've done any Zwift racing, so bear with me. I've got no idea what's going to go down today, but we'll see. from in the chat down there or down below I'm not sure what the chat is depending if you're on the, on the phone or on the computer <coughs> I've got water I've got a towel so that's good um, I'm gonna pump up my uh, my wind fan to max and then to go uh, full gas so to give you guys a little idea I am actually in a new Zwift team uh, last year I was in the A division team or I can't even remember if it was a division or whatever um, <coughs> and they added, added a lot of teams this year, so I'm in a different team. This is the first race. Um, I should have been in a different outfit, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't have time. Uh, there's a few sprints in this race: 3k in, 7k in, about 10k in, 14k in. A lot of sprints, uh, and it ends with a climb. But I think I've never ridden in this level before, so we'll see. We've got Belgium in the house, Oklahoma, England, India, South Africa, Pittsburgh, Isle of Man, Isle of Man, holy crap, uh, California, Liverpool. <sighs> 30 seconds 
I'm not formed up at all. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Give me shouts during the race. I won't be talking a lot. I'm probably gonna die. Made it to the front. Not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> Tom, we're not flying airplanes right now. Yeah, this is a new map, new level. I've never been here before. So. So this first sprint is after three kilometers, so it's really quick. go for the first sprint. I'm not gonna do that. Just trying to hang on. Great sprint, of course. What's a burrito?
saw Kroninger in the house. So I know my intro was kind of short because I was very busy with getting everything ready. My avatar didn't want to go into the race. I had to set up the green screen and stuff. It's been a long time ago since I raced on Swift. But uh, if you just tuned in, welcome back. Let me know where you're from in the chat. This is the Swift Racing League 2022. Happy New Year's, everybody. Here. It's still Wahoo Lecole, but there's now like seven or eight teams instead of one. I'm wearing the wrong jersey. Sorry about that. <laughs> We've got Florida and Belfi in the house. What's up? One more spring coming up. Thanks for the enlightenment about burrito.
Ah, oh, crap. There's no sprint, so the peloton's going full gas now. And we're left behind as a bunch of suckers. Okay, that's it. Great first race on Swift, guys. 12 minutes. Burrito! Big move.
So what do you guys think? One out of ten. How bad am I at swift racing? I just, I fell back a little bit too far again. I think also the Swift dynamics are changing a bit and have me riding on Swift in pelotons and stuff at all. So maybe I just have to get back into the game because that's what it is, it's a game. It's got nothing to do with real life riding. Well, just that you're rotating your pedals, that's it. There you go. So I don't want to let this entire ride go to waste. Uh, so I will put in another effort. Man, in the Dolomites, I was the fittest I've ever been, without a doubt. It's crazy. And after that, I did not train for three months. So, September, October, November, and half December, hardly any riding. So I just lost a lot of fitness. But, I'll get it back. 
Don't worry. Crazy map. Way to the people. <laughs> I'm on the Fuji right now. Stupid map! All these corners are so annoying!
I don't know what my FTP is. I didn't train for three months. Trying to get back to those two guys before in front of me, but no, it's not working. What's up, Steve? Swift is like playing Call of Duty and outside bike riding is like you're in the real war. It's absolutely nothing like it. This is just a game guys. It's a game. Espen. That was a booster, Harry. Rocket boost. Mop, mop. Guys, don't leave at the finish because I'm gonna stay in the live stream so I can talk after the finish.
I can I can say what bike I will be riding. Uh, let me catch a breath. And we'll talk about bikes and events and stuff in 2022. Just hang on, don't leave. This is where we can chat and talk. It's been a while. Um, I don't want to stay here. Should I go to Watopia or stay here, guys? Vote now, quick. <coughs> 10 seconds. Everybody said Watopia. <laughs> it's funny how Watopia is the most popular map. It doesn't matter for what. Ah, so uh, another somebody was asking me if I'm still I still have the Fuji. I'm at the Fuji right now. I'm riding the Fuji on the Indo Trainer. So yes, I still have the Fuji. Freaking legendary bike. I love the Fuji. Um, but I think I haven't ridden the Fuji outside for a year now because, uh, yeah, I had Cannondale and I was riding with the, my self-built gravel bike a lot with the kids, so I wasn't riding the Fuji. Not because I didn't like the Fuji, but just because I had other bikes available. Um, And now the Fuji is kind of permanent on the indoor trainer, so it's easy to have one bike stationary the whole time. Absolutely great bike. Uh, and I still have the Cannondale. Um, both the mountain bike and the Super 6, but I won't be like fully or at all collaborating with Cannondale anymore for this year. Um, but I will make a review of the Super 6 because, uh, yeah, I think it's an interesting video, and uh, in general, the reviews videos are doing very well on, on the channel. and seems like a lot of people are interested in those, so I will be doing that. Um, but no more collaboration with Cannondale, they were focusing more on urban, that's what it told me. Uh, I couldn't go all exclusive with them, because then I would not be able to do all those videos cycling around Europe so there was a reason to uh, to part with Cannondale but we're still on on positive terms um, maybe there's another project in the coming year I don't know we'll have to see but uh, the bike for this year there will be actually be two projects um, probably going to start with a, a new gravel build uh, as you guys know I've been riding the wind space wheels for over like almost two years now and that has been great I will be doing a wind space review as well uh, for the wheels and I'm building a gravel bike 
that's the plan. I still have to work out the details uh, for wind space. And then there's the Vortex and Seca Seca bike project for Cycling 100. But uh, the frame is not available yet because of supply chain issues and stuff. So it's gonna take a little longer to build up that bike. But that will be somewhere this year as well. And then there might be another project, but I don't know yet. I still have to talk about that with a few people. <coughs> and in terms of events, I have a big meeting tomorrow with Hope Root. We'll be talking about 2022 and what we can do. Uh, Hope Root. Dolomites was a super big success. The videos were, you know, the engagement was super good. And uh, I was very happy with, with that. Since you guys liked the, the documentary, so we'll be looking at maybe doing another one this year. But I have to see if I can manage that with work and holidays and family and stuff. Do you still like your self-built gravel bike? I saw a latest video yesterday. Any plans on building a new one? Well, what I just said, wind space. But I still like my self-built bike. I mean, there's no bike like the bike that you built yourself. It's so cool. If you haven't watched it yet, you know, go check out my bike build trilogy because it's three videos about how I completely built my gravel bike from scratch. Picking out every detail, finding the parts, matching colors, overcoming problems and you definitely want to do that once if you're a real cycling fanatic it doesn't have to be an expensive build you can buy an old old bike and flip you know flip the bike or uh, restore it with a small amount of money just strip it completely like I did with the Fuji it's gonna make your bike special to you so that's really awesome so uh, I really still love riding my self-built gravel bike the green with the gold I think it's a match like no other so I will not go back for now to my Canyon Arrow it's actually still on the wall in my uh, garage but uh, I have no reason to ride it at the moment because I have other bikes. Um, so yeah, I don't think so. Would you recommend riding in Portugal? Yeah man, I was in Porto and it was awesome. I don't have any experience with other locations but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Did you use the indoor train here in summer? Nope. <laughs> Why would I? I try to ride outside on the road as much as I can, even in winter. Only when it's raining and super cold, I'll go on the indoor trainer. Or now when it's dark and it's, there's a race online, you know. But uh, in general, no. What's up, Falkar? How are you doing, man? 
It's been a while, huh? I hope I get uh, to go to Babal again uh, soon. We've got uh, Volcar in the, in the chat, guys. You see my videos from Bilbao. Volcar has been hooking me up with the bike for how many times? Three or four times in Bilbao. I made a few videos. He's the owner of that Cannondale Super 6 2013 that I compared with my 2021 model. Great riding with you always. Thanks, Harry. I appreciate that. The Windspace Hyper Wheels, James. I've been riding the Windspace Hyper Wheels for over a year uh, in the Super 6. I rid, rode the crazy cross country challenge on those wheels and the Dolomite Hot Route. If you guys are interested in wind space, my COVID Cycling Fanatics give you 10% at everything. The frame, handlebars, wheels, gravel wheels. Very good quality for, for the money and uh, I really like them. Uh, Maverick. No, the Haute route in the, the French Alps is seven stages, but the Pyrenees and Dolomites are five. Jacob wants to know about the mountain bike races. I don't know, man. Depends if there's any racing to do. <laughs> At the moment, everything is canceled in the Netherlands. We are in like a full lockdown. All shops are closed. In, instead of, or uh, unless uh, like supermarkets. And all, all events are canceled, so it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going coming year, but uh, if there is events that I can participate, yeah, I probably want to do some some mountain bike or gravel racing. It would be fun. James S. What depth? I'm riding a 58 millimeter wind space hypers. Not sure if you guys seen my last couple videos I made two videos at the end of 2021 about travel and what to pack, what to think about when you're going on a travel, on a cycling trip. Um, I thought it would be interesting for you guys if you would be planning your cycling trip. You know, I, I try to give as much tips and knowledge that I gained experience that I've gained in all those years of riding bikes everywhere. So maybe check that out when you're going on your next cycling trip. And then there's another video I published last Monday, yesterday, yesterday, about what, what starts your season kind of hard to sometimes it's hard to start with training and you need something to motivate you that's what I talked about in that video also I totally uh, share the sponsor <laughs> which is Manscaped they uh, 
they got in touch with me, asked me if I wanted to try out their uh, their uh, shaver, electric buzzer. So uh, finally shaved my legs again after three months, and it feels great. I had like this winter fur. I felt like a monkey, and now I'm back into training mode. It really is like that. Every year there's a there's a moment where I start shaving my legs and it, base, it usually is when I start training serious because that's when I start having massages once in a while it's when I apply all this pre and post workout stuff on my legs uh, it, it makes your bibs uh, stay on your legs better as well. If I give you a hair on your upper leg, this um, band of the bib shorts tends to move up. And when you shave off your legs, your hair, your bibs stay where they should be. So that's actually nice. One of the advantages of shaving legs as a guy. I don't have a real life event planned yet because like I said everything is cancelled. Um, Marco Landani wants to know how I combine my training with the Swift racing. Well to be honest, Swift racing is the worst training you can do because there's no structure you've got no idea what's coming up usually you blow up <laughs> and then you're worth nothing so I don't put that much emphasis on the Swift racing and uh, I, I just use it as a little bit of intensity in the week and then just build some proper training sessions around it. That's really uh, how we do it, me and my coach. So, if, if you think racing on Swift three times a week is gonna get you fit, think again, because it's not like that. It doesn't work that way. Um, it will probably burn you out sooner than you get fit. So. I will not do it more than once a week. Um, and then I'll try to combine it with a little bit more riding like I'm doing now. At least an hour, hour and a half on the bike. My weight, Al Ali Ali Khan, Ali Khan Gul. I weigh about 81, 82 kilos. I didn't weigh for the last few weeks, but I'm pretty much always about the same weight for the last few years. So, yeah, I'm relatively heavy. I try to compensate with a lot of power. <laughs> Not today. Today I wasn't really fit, but normally. So guys, um, I have a question for you guys. 
since there's still 120 people watching. There should be plenty of you guys that are willing to answer this. And it doesn't matter, yes or no, just be honest. Um, I had a chat with a guy yesterday. Uh, they got in touch with me and they offer streaming, not really streaming services, but they offer a, a ticket service for online events. So they, we talked about how I could be streaming, live streaming, for example, a, a Zwift session like this, or an open chat with you guys or I could do like a virtual spinning class on Zwift or without Zwift. You guys on the Indoor Trainer back home, me on the Indoor Trainer where I live. And it would be quite small and personal, like 20 guys, 20 cycling fanatics in this, uh, in this one environment. And you would pay like five euros to get in. Um, I want to do a test event, and I want to. I will first wanted to to see if there is any interest in my audience. So you guys. So if you would be willing to pay five euros or ten euros to do this test event and to join me on an hour. Of riding where I will be either sharing a training and coaching or just to sit down and chat and it will be different because there will you can actually join me with video and you can talk so it's not only chat like here in YouTube but you can actually talk to me and I can call back you can share your your webcam or not and there's gonna be 10 or 20 riders or cyclists or people whatever in this uh, training event would this some would this be something you guys would be interested in yes or no easy During this thing, you can ask me anything you like. I will have more time to answer your questions. We can talk about certain topics. If we have 10, 10 of you guys, to the join then I can try it out and uh, if not no worries I I really don't mind if you guys are not interested fine we won't do it I'm just trying to find out if there's if people would like to do something like this we can do a meetup in Zwift. I can organize a specific ride in Zwift, for example, and I'll share the link, I guess, privately, and you will be able to join this event. Hey, Richard, that's fine, man. 
Sounds very good. Get your intervals in. Watch my videos, go back to my other racing videos, whatever you want to do, man, all good. Yeah, so Cyrus and L, I understand you're probably not a fan or a cycling fanatic like others on the channel. And then I can understand that for you it's not interesting to talk to me. Um, there are others that might be very interested in my opinions, my experiences, my training. Uh, my view on certain topics. So it depends on what you would be looking for in, a, in an event like that. Jeroen, the race is already done, man. <laughs> the race started at 7. You're late. You didn't watch me win. Too bad, man. Jeroen. Dikke pech. <laughs> I don't know yet man uh, I'll probably share it on Instagram if I do then I will be sharing it on Instagram um, I still have to see if I'm actually gonna do that but uh, we'll have to do some tests and I'll, I'll share it on Instagram and YouTube community page as well What is the patellar tendon? Uh, can you do you know the Dutch <laughs> the Dutch name for that? The patellar tendon. I'm not a doctor, so best would be to ask your doctor. I might know, but I don't know what it is. But hard. Pew from the pant. Yeah, ja, patella pace, but what is your patella then? Oh, the KD Pew. <laughs> oh, even Nederlands. It's below the knee and it connects the quadriceps. So, right here. And you have a mild inflammation. I suggest you tone it down on training. You go to a bike fitter if you haven't, to check that out to see if your bike fit is okay. I have actually had that before, some, some irritation. I went to a physio, we did some, uh, some physiotherapy and it goes away. But uh, don't train 
when it hurts. So go easy. Rustig rijden. Als het pijn gaat doen, moet je gelijk stoppen. Dat is eigenlijk voor heel veel pijntjes. Uh, ik zou toch even naar de dokter gaan met de fysio. Even checken. Als het warm is, rood en warm, rood en gezwollen, dan is die geïrriteerd, dan is het ge, ge, uh, ontstoken. Dan moet je echt rustig gaan. Kopschip, hè, Erik? <laughs> mijn mijn Nederlands is slecht hoor, deed deze. So next week, let me see if I'm here. I think next week, no, but the week before, yes. Checking my agenda. Uh, the 25th, I'll be back on Tuesday with a live stream. Do you have a day job? <laughs> Zinc TV. Check out my Instagram. Or check out some of my other videos. You'll find out my day job. Yes, I have a day job. Saba. This is Swift. It's an online world. You can ride your bike. I'm at home. I'm my inner trainer. And I'm riding bikes in the virtual world. Zinc TV, you already have your answer by me, Kobayashi. Thank you, me. <laughs> Samuel. Yeah, it's my second life, it's all fake. I actually deleted my uh, my videos of actually flying uh, of my YouTube channel, but uh, there's still some on my other Instagram account. There, I don't know, man. I've got. Some time in Prague and some time in Luxembourg, but I'm not sure if I have enough time to create, to do like a ride and shoot videos. But wanted to be a pilot and I've been like a semi-pro BMX racer there was not really pro BMX racing when I was still in the game but uh, I was almost full-time BMX racing before I started flight school 
And after that, I started to road cycling. So I never really went full gas, all out, 100% uh, into road cycling because I already had my job as a pilot. Yo Maverick, yeah man, the Cycling Fanatics camp on Mallorca was the was on the schedule, the plan, but because of COVID, it got cancelled. Um, I would still want to do that, but it's just too uncertain right now. I spent so much time organizing that, and then boom, it was gone. So I, I still want to organize a, a new event, but yeah, I don't know when. I want to be sure that it goes and not cancelled again. <laughs> the good old question if pilots actually do something while they're flying a plane. Like the the most asked question I get. Where everybody thinks everything goes automatically. I guess they're home if everything is automatically. What we do when we are cruising, we check the weather around us to make sure we can land somewhere at any time. If something breaks down, the person gets a heart attack, we have to have situational awareness where to go straight away. We have to know the weather at our destination and alter it the whole time. We switch to new controllers every couple minutes. So there's always one pilot in control of the airplane, the other is in control of the radio, radio and the checklists and all some other stuff. So we're talking to air traffic control. We're deviating from the route for weather, for all the traffic. Uh, we're calculating the elevate, like the altitude with where we're flying, if we can climb or descend. We're programming the computer for the arrival. We are uh, calculating landing distance performance. We are talking and informing the passengers and the cabin crew. We're dealing with problems with the passengers and the cabin crew. Uh, preparing the airplane for a turnaround. Since we only have 30 minutes to turn around sometimes. There's plenty to do. <laughs> yeah, 
yes, here is an L. That's pretty cool, man. It's way easier to bring your running shoes and to go run everywhere than it is to cycle everywhere, but it's kind of similar to where you try to get your workout in your training time, no matter what your training schedule or your work schedule is. Um, and it's a hassle sometimes, man. I'm not a captain yet, I did my like theoretical captain's exam, which is about all the books and the laws and the procedures and they put down certain situations and they question you about it and you need to share your opinion and thoughts and the rules and all that stuff. It's quite intense exam. Um, but with the COVID my actual training to the left seat is postponed a little bit to somewhere in August or after August. So I still have a little bit on the co-pilot seat and then the plan is to transfer to the left to, the, to be a captain on the Embraer. So that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Super excited about that. It's gonna be another period of intense study and uh, not so much training but that will be at the end of the year so. Eric, we don't have any Wi-Fi in our plane so <laughs> it's not like we're, I'm on Instagram the whole time while I'm flying <laughs> not allowed if we would have it but we don't have it yeah man of course I miss the previous airplane when I was flying to LA San Francisco Hong Kong staying there for multiple days it was amazing uh, yeah, I miss it a lot. Seven three seven seven four seven and Ember, and a bunch of smaller planes, but. I don't know, I've never flown an Airbus, so I've only done Boeing and Embraer. Yo Rick, I've discussed uh, quite a lot of this right after the race in the live stream, so go back 
about 40 minutes in this live stream. And I've discussed my bikes, my plans, all of that stuff. My schedule in the complete lockdown didn't really change, we were still allowed to ride outside. So I ride outside on my bike, uh, so it doesn't really matter. And I want to encourage everybody to keep riding outside and don't stay inside. Just, it's the worst for your health to stay indoors. So go outside as much as you can, ride your bike. It's crazy that we're locked inside our own house when we all know that it's healthy to work out, stay fit by exercising, running, cycling, whatever. So in the Netherlands there's there's no rules for, uh, well, there's a lot of rules that you're not allowed to ride with multiple people and stuff. Which is crazy, but luckily I train most of the time. I train by myself, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it does take a little bit more motivation to ride outside when it's only cold and dry it's okay but when it's raining dude, I'm not going outside that's when I will be riding on the indoor train um, it does make a difference if you have proper uh, cold weather gear or not so dress up well your hands and feet super important and then it's okay Uh, Eric, we, we don't do any empty flights. There's some flights that have not as many passengers as others, but we have a lot of passengers still, luckily. Dieter, which bike you need to buy? Depends on what you want to do with the bike, depends on your budget, 
depends on what is available. <laughs> het is een hele open vraag. Daar kan ik niet zomaar antwoord op geven. So narrow it down. Hallo, bent. Welkom. I am gonna shave my hair really soon. Because this coop is kind of annoying. All the barbers are closed. I've been to a barber shop in uh, Bologna in Italy a while ago. It was only 5 euros. Uh, but I don't have any Italy on my schedule. So <laughs> I guess I'll have to go somewhere else. Couple more minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Then I'm, uh, I'm done for today. Cheap haircut, man. Ja, je mag mijn Aero wel overkopen voor 3500. Perfecte criteriumfiets. Later Rick. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah man, pump track is in. I still wanted to do a video about that, but. Ah, I got busy. <laughs> but uh, Sam is riding the pump track almost every day. Uh, the little one, Mick, is also riding it on his tricycle. Mick is turning two uh, in uh, two weeks from now. So they're both riding it. It's pretty cool. The bikes are really expensive at the moment. It's kind of crazy. trying to get a group set for uh, a gravel bike but it's kind of hard to buy it
Denk je dat een nieuwe GX komt? Die uh, de GRX is uh, only just released. Oh, well, it's gonna make the old GRX cheaper, that's good. <laughs> Or unavailable. Because they just quit supply chain. Just like they do with the the old Tegra and the Jurage. Ik ben wel klaar hoor. Ik ging hier voor gemeten. With the one by system, we have one chain ring in the front and 11 in the back or 12, whatever. whatever. The gaps between the the gears are so big. That's what I don't like about a one by system. I just think it's annoying. And maybe for a mountain bike, it doesn't really matter because there's so much ups and downs and it's kind of diff different. But for A gravel bike where you're riding flat a lot, I would really prefer a a two bike. Thank you, Mark. Mark Bentley about the whole Ruth Dolomites documentary. Thanks a lot. I know there's structured workouts on Swift. I usually do my structured workout from my coach, which is in trainer. What's the name again? Uh, it's in today's plan, which communica communicates with Swift, and then I can do those workouts. But uh, today, I just did a race and then some easy flat riding. I do not do any running, especially not in the winter. <laughs> when it's slippery and stuff. No, I stay on the bike. All right, guys. A couple last questions. I'm gonna tap out in a bit. be back with another swift race sucking really big at it in two weeks from now until, until then I will be training uh, outside and uh, I'll, I'm gonna work on some new videos wind space wheels review super six bike review I've got new clothing from Sirocco that I'm gonna make a video of just have to get back into it a bit But there's stuff coming up, so <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Sorry I suck so big at Zwift racing, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get better at it uh, along the way. Just have to get back into it a little bit. Thanks for tuning in. Gonna see you next time. 
See ya. I'm going to show you guys the... Uh... Oh, this is not really interesting. Anyways. <laughs>